bookshop, Gavin hopes to introduce, to introduce you to a wide variety of books you never knew existed. And never knew you needed. <laughs> Last time. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so this presentation is actually about my hobbies. I love to read. But it's also a kind of meta presentation because I'm going to tell you about some of the books connected to my hobbies that I currently have on my Amazon wish list. If then afterwards you want to buy any of those books for me, I'd be absolutely delighted. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of hoping that my there you go, you see it does happen eventually. So these are some of my hobbies. I'm going to be taking you through some of the books on Amazon that I have on my wish list connected with my hobbies. I'm very interested in food and drink, uh, keeping pets, arts and handicrafts, uh, death, politics, uh, toilets, and uh, natural history, that kind of thing. So the first thing I'm really interested in is food. These are a couple of books I've got on order. The first one, 300 Ways to Serve Eggs. And you would, isn't that amazing, there are 300 ways to serve eggs. There's only one in the hotel I'm staying in, and, and that's cold. But a couple of them cheese problem solved. Anybody got a cheese problem? Yeah, that's the book for you, man. Now, arts and crafts. It can be very, very expensive if you have kids to, be, to buy them toys and things at Christmas. So why not knit your own? <laughs> knit a fantasy story. I can see everyone getting ready to run home now and get those crochets. Or knit the Christmas story. Or knit some uh, Korean folk tales. Very, very easy. Very, very quick. More arts and crafts. Towel oh, or Gabby. I once stayed in a hotel in Costa Rica where they turned the towels into gorillas in the morning. Absolutely fantastic. But look, buy some black and white towels from uh, Ikea or something. You can make them. Oh yes. Towel penguins. What other next? Towel dinosaurs, obviously. Jurassic towel origami, isn't that fantastic? Okay, so on to pets. And connected with hobbies, knitting with dog hair. How much more economical could that be? Now, of course, what's going to happen if you knit with your dog's hair is it's going to get stressed out, and then you'll need to give your dog a little bit of toga. Just kind of chill out a little bit. But, a question. You may never have asked yourself when Amazon told this, is your dog gay? And if your dog's gay, does it really matter? I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't even know what they do when they go outside. How does he present it to your dog? I'd say slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> um, moving on, is your cat gay? <laughs> I could go on, is your zebra gay? Is your, you know, we could go on, how to toilet and train your cat. If anyone's ever lived with a cat, you'll know that that's the most pointless book ever. And it's lying. It can't be done. So, game cats, or the training cats, let's move on, shall we? I think we've had enough of animals. Two, oh no, sorry, no. No. No, bond through horse, which is of course something everybody should do. If you've got a horse and it's not bond through, I urge you, quite seriously, please, to go home and bond through. And the brother whining, what's wrong with my spade? Just go to bed, what's wrong with my It's gone yellow. It's got a stick. Oh, politics. Now, politics. What to do when the Russians come? <laughs> Maybe you go, oh my god, ah, ah, ah. nuclear war, what's in it for you? <laughs> Not very much. <laughs> Not much at all. But probably a good read, a short read for that. I think sticking with politics, what's Karl Marx a Satanist? <laughs> He's certainly got a Satanist beer, hasn't he, everybody? <laughs> I think you'll find. And how green were the Nazis? I, I would suggest that that's a minor question about the Nazis. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, you, if, you've got, if you've exhausted all lines of inquiry, then that might be down the bottom. Oh, tattooed mountain women and spoon boxes of Dagestan. <laughs> how do they go together? How do they go together? Prehistoric humans in film and television? No! There was no film and television in prehistoric times. But someone's written a whole book about it. Absolutely amazing. Ah, now, toilet. <laughs> What's your poo telling you? I don't converse with mine. I don't know. Now, this is interesting. The human viewer. This is about talking to your poo and maybe using it in the garden. So it's very ecological. They're just not books I really want to read, to be honest. Ah, daughterless toilet. Is it right for you? No. Of course it's not. How could it be? Actually, they do not water this toilet. In Moscow, they have toilets with water and without you pay more for the toilets with water. A toilet paper origami, we're back to the origami again. It's very beautiful. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but there you go. Ah, oh, now death. 
Death. Do it yourself, coffee for pets and people. See, again, we're saving. I'm just trying to help you save a little bit of money and fancy coffins. Not ordinary coffins, fancy ones. They've got like tattoos and things, little stickers, little coloured pen on top. Death is a very interesting and underrated subject. The who's, this is what's a history now. The who's who of British petting. I think that sounds fantastic. It's the list of people who have their heads cut off. And the one I really love, and the one that some of you have probably asked yourselves many times, but the English, are they humans? <laughs> probably not. Ah, well, blow me down. The guys died to talking like a pirate. <laughs> Very useful work for international pirates. And this is on men's kind of subjects and 50 ways to use feminine hygiene products in a manly manner. <laughs> Do you know, I, I dread to even look inside the cover of that book because I just can't imagine. We're getting towards the end, it's quite weird now. Um, teach your wife how to be a widow. <laughs> Step one. And of course, when she is a widow, of course, she's going to need to get a job, she can read the managerial woman, and one day she'll end up having a comfy armchair like that in her office, where she'll get intense back pain and die. And finally, I think the weirdest of the weird is eating people wrong. I mean, it is involvement, but, you know, who knows? And my favourite, because it suggests so much nastiness and seediness, old tractors and the men who love so that is a little bit, I guarantee you that all these books do exist on Amazon and are available for purchase. They're also in my Amazon wish list, as I said before. So if when you get home you think, oh, Gavin, wasn't he nice? I'll buy him a book. You might want to just have a look at my wish list and any of those would be gratefully, gratefully received. Like, thank you very much.